So I'm going to show you guys the best music video export settings inside of Premiere Pro for 2025 slash 2026, I guess. If you guys are new to the channel, my name's Jacob, and I'm uploading every single day for the month of December. So make sure you guys subscribe for more editing tutorials. And we're also offering a buy one, get one free on our website. So if you guys want to level up your editing going into the new year, a bunch of plugins and packs are over there. But let's hop right into this. So opened up in the timeline, I have the Gunner Bleed music video that I recently just directed and came out with. And I'm going to show you guys the best export settings and multiple export settings for your video for certain use cases. So let's say I want to export my video. I'm not going up to file export. I'm pressing command M on my keyboard. Boom. Instant sauce. So next, you guys will see a range right here, source in and out or entire source. It might preset to entire source, but I like to have it at source in and out because if we go back to our timeline, I like to specifically select what I want to render. If you guys see up here, this is highlighted. If I go ahead and clear in and out, I highlight this by going to the beginning, pressing I on my keyboard for in, and then going to the end of the music video where I want it to end. Let's say I want it to end right here. I go one frame to the left and I press O, and you guys can see this instantly lines up with the very end right there. It's weird, if I were to put my playhead on the end and press O, it would give an extra frame of just black nothingness. So you have to go one to the left so it lines up perfectly and ends there. So once again, Command M, and make sure you have your range set to source in slash out. Now, what I'd like to do next is I'm gonna name this obviously Gunner Bleed, but let's say this wasn't the final music video. Let's run through that first, right? So you wanna send an artist the cut of the music video to see if he likes it so far, but you don't wanna render the highest quality version ever that's gonna cook your computer. So right now we have our format at QuickTime. I would recommend doing H.264, as you guys can see here, but here's the crazy thing with this for some reason. So Premiere will change your colors in this new weird update. So all you have to do is hit match source here and it brings your colors back to what they were in your timeline. Bunch of people have been rendering crazy looking stuff just because of this one thing right here. So make sure you open up the video tab and select this. Once again, this is for like a rough draft. So let's say this is your rough draft. I'm just gonna call this rough draft. Then I would go up to more right here, and these are all fine right here. You want to turn on render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, and then also you can see performance here, software encoding versus hardware encoding. I'm working on Mac. I don't have a dedicated GPU, but if you're on a Windows computer with like a crazy like 40, 90 graphics card, definitely change this to hardware encoding. It's going to use your graphics card versus software encoding, which uses your CPU. So with that out of the way, let's scroll down here to bitrate settings. I recommend doing VBR two pass and then also having this around 100. And then I think that's done there. You don't want to worry about the audio too much. I think 4,800 is perfect here. And then you would go ahead and either export or what I like to do is send to a media encoder. If you guys haven't used this before, I highly recommend it. I'm just going to open it up here. You can basically still use Premiere while your videos are rendering. It doesn't actually use Premiere to render the video and it's faster as well. So let me show you guys how it works here. Once we open up the Adobe media encoder here, I have something else in here from last time. It looks kind of overwhelming if you're new to it, but it's actually not bad. So this one from last time, I'm going to right click and just remove it, hit yes. And then you guys can see we have our gunner bleed right here. All you have to do once you selected your output file right here, literally just hit this button right here and it's gonna render the music video for you. And you can still use Premiere Pro perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and stop this since we're actually not gonna render this. And let's move on to the final render. So let's say you're doing your final render, your final output, you want the highest quality possible. You wanna press Command M one more time and you wanna change this, let's call this like gunner bleed final. You wanna change this to QuickTime. So we have a bunch of different options inside of here, video codec. Okay, so QuickTime 422 is the base. If you work with labels, they're gonna ask for this. QuickTime 422 HQ is even crazier. These file sizes are gonna be massive, so make sure your artist has room on their computer or whatever they're uploading to or from, I guess. It's gonna be massive. And then you got 422 LT. So between these three, let's say this is the lowest, this is the medium, and this is the highest. Let's say you want the highest render quality possible. Click that, click match source again. Make sure you have all of this 16-bit, use maximum render quality, and then make sure you have your audio at 4800, and then boom, go ahead and export this. As you can see, it doesn't show the file size here because this puppy is going to be massive. I'm assuming it's going to be around maybe like 10 gigabytes or something like that, um, so definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, these are my render settings. There is literally no quality loss on QuickTime HQ. It's literally the exact same as your timeline. So use this if you want the highest quality possible while uploading. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. If you want more content, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I'm also doing a buy one, get one free on my website. So if you guys want to level up your edits with plugins, packs, LUTs, overlays, everything, it'll all be down below. I'll see you guys over there. Peace.